we decided as, as a team that um, walking around the tidal basin would be a field trip. It's not a field trip we've ever done before. Um, so it was a new experiment. Um, but our students often don't get into Washington, D.C., in spite of the fact that we live 10 miles south of the city. Many of our kids don't ever cross the Potomac River. So it's a goal of ours every year to somehow take them into the city and see the monuments and the memorials. Anthony, what does it say? It's, it's explaining about his wheelchair. He didn't want people to know that he was in a wheelchair, so he didn't want a wheelchair that looked like a regular wheelchair. Eddie, this is called Braille for people who are blind and they can't see. Each of these collections of dots shows a letter. So this shows the letter L, this shows the letter I. So they would feel it with their fingers to read it because they can't, people who can't see. Can you imagine reading with your fingers instead of your eyes? So we did a little bit of preparation before we went looking at a map and making our own map and looking at pictures of the three different memorials we would be visiting and to sort of give the kids some background knowledge before we got there and we spent some time practicing with the cameras we've used the cameras all year but we've never taken them off site thank you when fdr was president near almost 100 years ago things in the united states were very rough a lot of people did not have jobs People who did have jobs often didn't have a lot of money, so you see people waiting in line here. They're waiting for either a job or for food because people were having, when he was president, he had a big job of trying to make people's lives better in the United States. Um, they had the, the mechanics of using the cameras, but I wanted them to really be thinking about, we're gonna take these pictures back and make a movie with them. You wanna take pictures of things that are meaningful and not just random shots of your friends. Um, so we practiced with that before we went. And then on the field trip, between digital cameras and flip video cameras, I had enough cameras for about one out of every two students. Um, so they had to share them. They took mostly pretty meaningful pictures. Um, there are very few pictures of just the other kids in the class. Um, they're mostly pictures of the monuments. There's pictures of the tidal basin and pictures of the ducks in the tidal basin. But for my kids who don't get to get outside and certainly aren't just spending time at a park with ducks, that's actually a pretty memorable <laughs> piece of the field trip to them. The cameras really kept them focused and engaged and um, made it easier for them not to feel a great urge to jump into any of the fountains at the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial or climb on the rocks there, or, um, things that I think would have held their interest more than the actual memorial without the cameras, but looking through that lens and trying to think about what was important kept their focus on what they were seeing.